Hold on. All right, everybody get close. I'm not high enough. I am not eating any, I don't know if you guys can see us, we might be too far away. I'm I'll, not eating any what? I'll go zoom us in. Any carrots? I'm not eating any gum. I'm not chewing any gum for this video. This is just so for you guys. Hey guys, just wait, let me call up my... <laughs> she's, she's gonna put oh, no. it over. Penny! Stop. Penny is trying to push the table over. I'm just gonna open up the Q&A questions that I have right. saved for you guys. We asked you guys on YouTube to you send us your questions. 121 burning questions. All right, so we are gonna get, Gabby, can you move it a little bit in? Sophie, you need to move up a bit. I am up. No, you're too low. You need to... Oops, Penny. a carrot went down. Somebody has to grab that. Sophie, go grab that before a horse finds it because <laughs> <laughs> things are going wrong back there, you guys. <laughs> Hello. All right, we're gonna get started. Welcome to today's video, tonight's extra video. We are doing a Q&A. We've been dying to do one. <laughs> Penny is determined to ruin our desk. We need so we are gonna just start with questions, go through as many of them as we possibly can. I think we should start at the very beginning. We're so great. the people who post comments first. Um, wow, there are a lot of them. I was gonna say, the very beginning is all the way down. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm being blocked. So uh, someone said, uh, break away from me, says, is that you? In the photo, Laura, I don't even know what photo you're talking about, but hopefully, maybe. Um, Jules Letter says, what is your horse's height? What's your horse's height? What's your horse's um, height? 16.3. Chance is 16.3. Penny Pickle is 15.2. She knows 16.2 and Stormy Boy is? 15.1 I think he's 15.2. 15.1 His papers say 15.2. 15.1 <laughs> Uh, that country girl wants to know what is the status on Chance. I think we've probably already addressed this before uh, we shot the video. If you see a Penny, shape, it's because of Penny. So essentially, uh, the status on Chance is that Sophie got spooked. He didn't do anything wrong. He was not too much horse for her. He was not. He did not do anything wrong. He backed up quickly when he saw Gabby fall, have a bad fall, and then. Um, Sophie got freaked out watching her sister fall and it just triggered something in her brain and she said that she doesn't want to lease him anymore. And so, um, leases always come to an end, unless you end up buying the horse, but leases usually come to an end and the, her lease came to an end really quickly. It's why we leased him, it's why we took it slow, it's why we took a chance, and so that she could say no if she ever felt like he wasn't the right horse for her, and so she has. So our lease isn't over yet, so we still kind of lease him, He's we paid for him, um, so we feel a responsibility to keep taking care of him until our lease runs out. So that is what we are doing. At Fullgate Acres wants to know what happened to Gray Finn. We stopped leasing him. Yeah, we stopped leasing him for the same reason. Gabby wanted to focus on her show. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting all that in. There's a lot going on in this end, you guys, with the horses and Sophie. Sophie is a bad influence. <laughs> Gabby, you got to get in more. So essentially, like Chance, so Gabby stopped the lease. She had a really great winter on him. Loved leasing him through the winter and stopped the lease. We love him. I still love him. My heart is connected to him, but that's what a lease is for, you guys. It's a ride. Other horses have the opportunity to learn from other horses and then stop when you're ready to move on. Oh, you can see Bill's face. Uh, she also wants to know, oh, Kelsey Bernstrom wants to know, why do you love horses? Why do you love horses? That's a hard I don't one. Know. I learned to love horses. I didn't always love them, but once I got to see that they have personality and are their own individual selves, not just dead. Like that all the horses I'd ever known seemed like dead in their in their soul to me. And horses are definitely not dead. Penny, this video is not for you. Okay, so why do you love horses? I don't know. I like riding them. Yeah, Sophie love, Gabby likes riding. Why do you like horses? I don't know. They're funny. They're fun. We like Sylvia and I like to play with them and ride them. Um, Jewel's letter also wants to know: staying in Ontario when you move, we are going to move wherever God leads us. So hopefully it's in Ontario. If it's not, that's okay too because I'm open to any place. 
Why isn't Gabby jumping higher jumps? Why aren't you jumping higher jumps, Gabby? Because I'm riding with people who jump lower jumps. That's a good point. She rides in a little less in the group and you ride to the level of the lowest jumper. Um, but also, for me, I just feel like, do you need to jump? Like, do you want to jump higher? Jumping is jumping. Like, I don't think... She jumps two foot nine in her shows and I think that's a good limit. A good, I think also you have to like pay attention to what the horse is capable of. Um, always Leah wants to know, do you live close to the lesson barn and how do you manage gas money and other expenses? We do not live close to the lesson barn. It is a 40 minute drive there and a 40 minute drive back. Um, we, Sam and I, manage money by having a budget every month. We know what we pay, we know what the horses cost, we have always budgeted what we need to spend and we factor gas into that and basically sam just puts gas in my car and i don't really know too much about gas uh jules letter also wants to know any other farm animals you want to get any other farm animals goats pigs sheep more minis um more cats more dogs basically every animal. and i used to feel like that until we got like it's so draining to work to have a lot of animals like to take care of them and like with our horses we're always doing stuff with them like we're never ever not doing stuff with them they're always with us they're always a part of everything that we do we're taking them in and out of fields managing their weight managing their diet man managing their feet like it's all day thing and the same with the chickens we are feeding them watering them like all the time cleaning their thing they're area it's, it's a lot do you want any other animals no i used to want more animals i'm done i'm good with what we have haven't you and penny gone in on any trail rides yet well we have gone on our first trail ride and then there's molly in the video she's not really in the video we got to turn the camera a little please god let it be okay are you in there Sophie's just over here taking pictures. Anyway, we did go on one big trail ride, one amazing fun trail ride. Our truck is, we're in the process of buying a new truck, and as soon as we get one, oh no, Penny, don't go near the camera. As soon as we get a new truck, we are out of this place. We are on more trail rides. We have plans with friends, a lot of stuff planned. Hopefully it'll be early fall, and we'll be out there doing more trail rides. Right, Sophie, are you gonna ride Chance again? No. <laughs> no. Um, She's gonna push the Debbie, are you gonna get a new horse, do you think? Probably not. Really? She Mom. loves Chino. <laughs> she believes in him and she has built so much trust in that boy and loves riding him. Loves riding him. I don't know what's gonna happen. I see her with another horse. CWS Squad, wow. CWS Squad wants to know, do you think you will have many more years on YouTube? So I think we're in our last final legs of YouTube. I love YouTube personally. I think it has been an amazing opportunity for us, but I want to do other things too. Like I don't ever want to get stuck somewhere. I felt like I did nursing for 22 years and I said I would do it for 10 years and if I still loved it, I would do it for more. And I think right around the 10 year mark, I started to get tired of it and it started to become more like a job instead of, uh, experience and I want to experience I want to experience so much and I want us to do more things I want us to travel I want us to do stuff do you think we're gonna do YouTube for much longer I don't know yeah do you care if we quit soon or if no. we keep going but Sophie you want to have your channel like Sophie wants to continue with her channel do you think you'll continue after we finish I don't as a family know. yeah we don't know we're just flying by the seat of our pants <laughs> Oh, that's a good photo. I will put all these photos to Opie. Send those to me. All the photos are behind the footage. There is a, a horse behind me here. Oh, she's walking away. All right, this is a really good one. Why do you guys let Sophie do big jumps if she can't balance in the canter correctly yet? They aren't big. They're like 18 inches. Yeah, Sophie jumps like 18 inches, sometimes two feet at the highest. Um, in our area, that's pretty much small. I don't know. <laughs> do you think it's big? Oh my gosh, Molly Sorry. got a carrot. That is not going to be good. Oh, now she's pitching six. Um, C uh, CWS Squad said, not really a question, but we love your channel so much. It inspired us to make our own channel, and it would be so cool if you guys would give us a shout out. 
also any tips on having a horsey YouTube channel. Go into it with an open mind and have fun. And once it's not fun anymore, that's when you'll know that it's time to finish. I hope that our camera is not getting no, wet. It's getting wet. Is it getting wet? I'm getting wet. I'm getting wet. Okay, hopefully we okay, we gotta keep going. Those are so cute. Send right, them to stop me. Um, is Sophie getting another horse or will she continue doing lessons on another horse like Denver since she's not running chance? Sophie, are you going to be getting another horse? Yeah. When? Whenever we find the right one. Yeah, like we're not in a hurry, just like we weren't in a hurry with chance, he came along. And there was a question that said, what made you decide to buy chance? And what happened when we bought chance was that um, one day while we were searching for a horse, our trainer said, I found a really, a really quiet horse he seems really quiet do you want I'm thinking about buying him do you want to try him and we said well why do you think he's a good fit he said he seems really quiet I think I'm gonna get him and if you guys want to try him out then you can try him out so he brought him here and he was really good at first I mean and so he brought him so if you get in <laughs> so he brought him and he was really good he was really quiet and he is really quiet and really calm and really sweet and so after we tried him for a couple of weeks, we decided to lease him and try him some more because we didn't know for sure that he would be the right fit for her or what she wanted. And our trainer is amazing and allowed us to lease him and basically set our own rules for what we wanted to do with him. And Penny <laughs> is just trying to push everything. She's like, if I push it, can I get a treat? Mm -hmm. uh, what's your favorite show you've been to? I don't know, top of the hill. So the show that we went to yesterday, that Or Trillium Champs. Or Trillium Champs. Oh man, that was fun. What's your favorite show? Um, the jumper show that I went to. The jumper shows. Oh, I loved that jumper show that she did with Finn last year. I loved Trillium Champs and I loved Top of the Hill. I love the bar. I love them all. They're all different. They're all like a whole different setup. I love them all. Uh, Gabby, what's the highest you've ever jumped in on who? Three foot six on Storm. Did you jump that on Chino too? Three foot three, for sure. You jumped three foot six on Chino too? Yeah. yeah. What did you, who did, what did your highest jump? Two six on Kimmy, but it fell off. <laughs> yeah, but then you did it again. Yeah. Two foot six for Sophie. Um, Jewel's letter also wants to know, would you ever buy a senior horse, like 25 and up? Yeah? No. I don't know. I think like when the girls are gone and if Sam and I are still feeling the horse thing, that if a 25 plus horse needed us or wanted us, um, and we could just spend time with it and, and be a horsey retirement place and, and just, you know, love on them, I could see that happening. No, I'll tell you what's going to happen. That's going to say no and you're going to be like, we're getting the 25 year old horse. Yeah, who am I kidding? If, if, if I want to do it. Well, and that brings me to Gar in wants to know what happens to Sophie and Gabby's horses if they go to college or university? They come with us. Well, that's an option. There are, there's a university near us that they could go take their horse to school with them. Hopefully you guys can hear us because of the rain. Um, also, Sam and I, like I said, if we're still feeling it, we would love to keep them at home and take care of them, especially if they're at the point where they're not being ridden anymore. Like that is something that we would definitely do. Also, um, we might sell them is a possibility maybe i we don't know we don't we won't know until we come to that bridge but one thing we did learn is that when sophie outgrew her pony like you can't keep them all you guys like you can't keep them all and hopefully we can keep the ones that we have but if we don't have a job for them and we don't have like what they need then it might be better for them to go someplace else uh, if you guys uh, wanted to move to the u.s which state would you pick historical swim. What state would you like to go to in the U.S.? I don't know. What state would you like to go to? Uh, I don't know. Probably Kentucky. Kentucky? Kentucky's good because you guys know that the Pony Finals is there. I would like Florida myself. What happened to Gray Finn? We already covered that. Is Chino doing okay and how is Stormy? They will all go to us when we go with us when we move. But how's Stormy? Storm's good. He's settled. He's happy. He's got a best friend in his field. His best friend is... Okay, Penny, go away, pushy girl. Who's, who is Stormy's best friend? I you guys know. know who it is. Echo? No, it's... 
buddy. is Buddy. It's Buddy is his best friend. They're inseparable. Sophie, do you want to continue showing as you get older? Some people honestly believe that Sophie's not into horses. She loves horses. Just not she like drilling or anything high because that's too stressful. She doesn't like the stress. She likes the fun. So she doesn't want to move up in, in levels. Felt, uh, have we ever? Oh, wait a minute. I felt spiders crawling up my legs. So now is Tina gonna, gonna show it all for the rest of the season? I don't know. She has to get him back in shape. So if she can do that by the end of the season, I'd love to see him at another show. Uh, what do you guys think about the hate that you've been receiving? And what is your opinion on it? Do you think Finn was lame? And what are your plans for upcoming shows? Um, so uh, the hate is a part of being active in social media. When a lot of people know you, then you get people that don't like you. Um, do we think Finn was lame? We think that exactly what our vet told us, exactly what our trainer told us, we think uh, exactly what all the people involved in the whole Finn situation believe and have told us Finn was getting tired by the end of the lesson. There are were some ruts in our arena where there were like hills that people didn't necessarily understand about. And Sylvie was making him look rain lame because she has outgrown him and she was leaning too far forward. And you know what's interesting is that when I look back at those videos of her riding, she looked so big on him and I couldn't believe it, like so tall. And when we were there living in that moment, we thought we had like the last summer, this last summer, but it worked out the way it was meant to work out. He needed to, she needed to move on. She needed to move up. Um, so Sarah Angelusi wants to know what are we feeding Chan? Uh, basically we're feeding him a lot of stuff recommended by our vet and also by other professionals that we've come across in our area. So um, we give him uh, oil, we give him a supplement, for ulcers just to make sure because he's a thoroughbred and because he's more prone to it obviously. Um, we give him uh, two different kinds of grain to make a complete grain so he gets one that's vitamins and one that has a, that's a, that's a performance grain. Um, we give him a fat supplement and we give him a whole lot of beet pulp. So he gets beet pulp, two kinds of grain, a fat supplement, uh, oil, salt, and an ulcer supplement. So I think that's all. That's all he gets. And he's doing well. Our vet wants us to go slow with him, and he is slowly gaining. And it's easy to get worried about him because it seems like it's taking forever. But we already know from past experience with Chino that it can take like a long time. It took Chino a good year to gain weight. Um, good run, Van year once says that she would love to see me take some lessons um, and are you giving or are you giving up lessons and I love the idea of lessons I love the lessons that I've taken I'd love to take some lessons at the Pasadena farm where they do tra training rides or where they do trail riding I'd love to take lessons in trail riding but for me and for Penny our heart is like in the trail so I don't want to go around in an arena. I don't want to have those kind of lessons. I, I feel like Penny gets frustrated with that and it's not worth her frustration and, and I don't enjoy it either. Going out there on the trail, she listens to every single thing that I ask her to do. If I could learn one thing I'll tell you about horses is that, I was thinking about this today, is that I would love to ride more with my body. Like I'd like to learn that. Penny. I would like to learn more about how to work with, make her, talk to her with my body because when we started learning riding, we were always taught right from the beginning, like our, the whole body mechanism, but we were also told to, taught to pull with our reins. We were also taught to pull with our reins and honestly, Penny would rather I never pull back with my reins. Even the most gentle pullback, she's like, don't do that to me, I don't like it. I, and if I use my body to teach to tell her something she listens instantly and so I'd like more information about how to do that well I want to be better for her I just breathe out. yeah Gabby just breathes out so what about Gabby they want to know Terry wants to know she's so confused about the storm situation is he at a completely different barn than you guys he's at the same barn he just does lessons with them yeah he's at the same barn as us we would never leave him to another barn that we didn't know or that we couldn't keep an eye on so he is at the same barn um if he's at a completely different barn, do you guys visit him? Uh, we see him every, we see him at least two times a week, usually three times a week. At this point, I'm getting blocked out by Penny. <laughs> Penny! All right, wait a minute here. I think that, 
I lost Can some questions. Um, Historical Swim says, for Sam and Laura, what is the hardest part about raising two girls who are seriously into horses? Um, the fact that they are seriously into horses and it is a lot of running, a lot of working. Like imagine if they did um, arts and crafts or gymnastics and you just go there once a week and you do it. But these, this is like owning horses, owning truck. Like there's so much that goes with horses. It's, it's hard. Um, Gabby and Sophie, if you could go back in time, what is the one thing you would change? That's such a good question. Uh, I don't know. Would you change your journey with Finn? No. Would you change your journey with Storm? Uh, no. Would you change your journey with Chino? No. Yeah, in retrospect, looking back, you can always see the beauty in every situation. I don't know that we would ever change anything. I wish that I had learned the lessons I've learned in the last few years earlier in life. I wish I was kinder always. I wish I never got frustrated. I wish I was the person I wanted, I want to be now already without having to go through all the work. I wish Penny would stop pushing <laughs> I wish Penny would go away. Uh, Destiny Nichols, do you guys have a budget every month? We absolutely have a budget. Um, She's looking for the tree. Caitlin Morrison said, I love you guys and your content. I hope you're having an amazing day when you're reading this. May God always look down on you. Thank you so much. Uh, do you know what career path you want to go on? I want to be a farrier and a... Uh, uh, Horse trainer? And a... A coach. A coach. A farrier and a coach. What do you want to be, Gabby? Do you know yet? No. She doesn't know yet. Um, what are your gut riding goals? Do you think you will get a solid show season from him next year? Or is it time to reevaluate and maybe get a new show horse? I don't know. We're not there yet. Like, there's so many things that we're just not there yet. Like, we need more pieces to the puzzle before we can choose. Like I said before, Gabby has built trust in Chino. Just like Sophie's built trust in in Denver like there's so much more to horses than just picking a horse and going out there and riding and she loves you know they she loves him so I don't know that we're ready for a new horse do I think one is probably in the future probably um, but you guys know how hard it was I moved to block but I was sitting you guys know how hard it was in the past for Gabby to give up on storm to change from storm so it changing on Chino would be just as hard <laughs> Penny, you are killing me. When are you gonna have your new coop ready for the winter? We're gonna have it soon. It, we book it, it's supposed to be here at the beginning of November. Um, Sam's shelter was amazing last year. And why do we not see Daisy much anymore? Because we're always down in the barn. Daisy does not like the barn. Yeah, and I mean, even Ma, even Ruby's not here right now. We let our horses, we let our dogs decide, Penny. We this let our dogs why... decide when and what they want to do. We are lucky enough to have so much space that Daisy is outside running all the time, doing stuff with us, but for like the 20 minutes or so a day that we vlog, sometimes she doesn't make an appearance. She's normally just sitting on the couch relaxing. Uh, Gabby, do you think you'll be showing more this year? I don't know. I think she will be. Like you want to, right? We have plans. We have plans. Um... Anybody want to go to the Olympics? No, never. Do you want to go to the Olympics? No. Yeah. It's show jumping. Yeah, it's show jumping. And Gabby is a hunter and Sophie is a jumper. Um, are you planning on getting any more horses minis when you move to the new farm? Yes, a million minis. So I would not be opposed to more another mini because Sophie really does amazing with them and she enjoys it and I love that journey and I like sharing it with her. We don't want a lot of animals. I love having our three girls at home and Chino even at home. I'd love to see Storm come home and I would love like all of our horses to just be here and, and be a part of us. But right now our kids are enjoying them being a part of a group. I figured right, out an answer. For all right, last one. I figured out the answer for if you would want to go back and change anything. Okay. I would go back and teach Penny how to not push. <laughs> Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, she's a little... I don't know if you guys can see, but Penny is the boss of this barn and she is here in the video. Okay, so there's two things. Um, my, mare's, my mare Flicka says that she would love 
to see Gabby and Sophie consider some kind of Western writing. It can be a big relief at, after wanna, doing a lot of English work. I want to try bear racing. Yeah, like we are going to get there, guys. Sophie really wants to do that, and I want to do some uh, trail shows. Have you guys seen them? I love you. I love you. She loves me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so we do want to head in that direction at some point. Gabby, I don't, do you want to do Western? Never. Okay, last one. Uh, this one says, she has a few questions. The first one has probably been said in a video I haven't watched, but why the heck is Gabby riding Lily? Chino's not at the barn right now. Chino's not at the barn right now. Uh, second, Sophie, Ga Sophie, do you still like to spend time with Chance on the ground? Yes. And do you still do groundwork with him? Yes. Yeah, we all love to spend, Sophie and I both love to spend time with him. He is the sweetest horse. Like, I don't, I think my heart will break when our lease ends with him. Um, she says, I know you guys do care for him because you went over that already. So lastly, are you planning on doing anything not on your property with Penny? So much, so much. So far, God has said, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. And we're just following along and hopefully we're going to be ready to go out soon. We have plans with a bunch of different people to go on trails. Uh, somebody asked about Kaylee. Why the heck is she not in your videos anymore? Kaylee is busy a lot. She was in the show yesterday. Gabby and her competed against each other. She's in our house often during the week. They play video games together and they do FaceTime together. So she feels to us like she's still part of our family. When she is here, Gabby and her go places. They go out for dinner because Kaylee drives now and they're not just always hanging around. When I took Gabby to the hospital um, when she had her fall, it was Kaylee that stayed at home with Sophie. So she's still in our life and I just talked to her for like an hour yesterday. She's just busy and all the times that she's here, we're just not videoing. Also, lastly, how long have we all been riding? This is it, the last question. How long have we all been riding? Whoa. When people ask me that, I say I don't know. So they both started when they were almost four. They were like a couple months before they were four. Twelve years. 12 years and probably 10 years and then I've been riding for what four years has it been four years Debbie was like Sophie was like six or something or seven or maybe like five or six years I'm not like super consistent in my riding which I feel like a lot of adult riders are like that but I've been riding I've been riding for probably at least five, five years yeah, probably five years and I feel I learned to ride at the Pasofino farm. Like that's, it was a ride or die situation. You get on the horse and you go with these girls and they just be galloping everywhere. You just learn to do it. Like we would be cantering for so long and then galloping for so long that I figured out my body while we were going and it was awesome. Anyway, that is it. I thought there'd be more juicy questions. I thought there were more, more juicy questions. Um, <laughs> no. You've already had so many treats. I've had so many carrots. And she had my apple. Right, she would stop bugging me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't smack the camera. <laughs> Penny. Anyway, that is it. Molly's coming. <laughs> Molly, come on. Come here. <laughs> She's not in there. There's Molly. She's going for a carrot, too. Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys like this Q&A. Thank you guys so much for all your questions. Thank you for all your love and support. And thank you for caring about us. Even those people that don't understand everything that we do, don't um, understand every decision that we make, thank you for being there. And thank you for offering advice. And all your concern and all your sharing of information has been so fantastic for us. And we all have to stand up now because Penny's in the way. And thank you for loving our horses, you guys. Bye.